A massive showing on the front lawn of Queens Park this afternoon. Thousands gathering to raise their voices in support of the Wet'suwet'en hereditary chiefs and their fight against a natural gas pipeline being built through their traditional territory. This just one day after Prime Minister Trudeau said he's run out of patience with the ongoing blockades across the country. And at that point, we will march. It began at Queen's Park, a massive showing on the front lawn on Saturday afternoon. Indigenous and non-Indigenous supporters holding signs, burning sage, and making their voices heard. We want to show our love and support for Wet'suwet'en. We're in, this is an Indigenous-led um, peaceful gathering. Since February 6, rail blockades have been cropping up across the country in solidarity with the Wet'suwet'en hereditary chiefs of northern British Columbia. They are opposed to the coastal gasoline pipeline being built through their traditional land. It was on that day the BC RCMP moved to enforce an injunction on encampments in Wet'suwet'en, sparking nationwide unrest. It's just been too long to be silenced. Eve Saint is the daughter of Wet'suwet'en hereditary chief Was, recently arrested at an RCMP raid on Wet'suwet'en land. We have different values. Uh, we're doing this from the heart. We think of the earth, the generations before us. We think of our people as opposed to maybe pro-industry. So it's a clash of values and I know because we're different in cultures that they may not understand. Non-Indigenous people may not understand why land defenders do what they do. The barricades must now come down. The injunctions must be obeyed. On Friday, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau hardened his stance on the blockades, saying the government attempted every avenue of dialogue to end the demonstrations peacefully, but to no avail. He called for the blockades to come down within a day. They haven't tried. They, you know, we, we need to sit down um, nation to nation and really, really um, be real about what's, what's really happening with um, uh, the state of affairs with First Nations people. On Thursday, BC RCMP offered to back down in Wet'suwet'en territory, though the hereditary chiefs say the federal police force has actually increased harassment and have not moved out of their territory completely. They say the blockades will continue until the RCMP are completely off their land and work on CGL ceases. Asking to have the RCMP leave their land before they negotiate is very reasonable yes. because like negotiating at, in front of a rifle is not a fair way to negotiate. The march finished at Nathan Phillips Square with a massive round dance. Hundreds held hands and danced in a circle as a drumbeat resonated throughout the square. Now, the rail blockades, one of the most significant in Tyendinaga Mohawk territory, have resulted in supply shortages and hundreds of temporary job layoffs. But just yesterday, a Montreal rail encampment was taken down.